But when they threw all the when they, when they said that the former prime minister was in a world of pain at one interest rate rise, we've now seen twelve more chance of a thirteenth. Isn't it concerning to you that our inflation is higher than the US, the UK, than uh, than places like uh, Japan, Canada? I quoted before. Um, this feels like getting through the week rather than actually talking about the problem. I think it is a sign of a very healthy democracy when you can criticise the RBA. I have absolutely no problems. Just not the government. Oh, what, really? I come on this show and you say no-one can criticise the government. Really? Paul? No, no. But the, the RBA is a human institution, and like all human institutions, they are fallible. Hmm. You know, uh, Philip Lowe, yes, of course, in, I think it was March or February, made that immortal statement that interest rates are going to stay low for the, for, for the foreseeable future. Yep. Uh, clearly, he was wrong. Yep. Um, uh, for the last 10 years, every single prediction of... Uh, wages growth has been wrong. Every single one yeah. has been wrong. You know, I think it's fair enough that we say, well, let's look at the bank and have a conversation about so it. So if they're in the wrong place, the Greens say that the current legislation gives the Treasurer the capacity to overrule the decision of the Reserve Bank at any one time. Do you think that he should be? If they came tomorrow and said, uh, we're going up 13, yeah. that he turns around and says no? No, I, I, I don't think you should do that. I think you should put in place... Uh, better voices around the table so that you can have a conversation. Like union hacks. Absolutely. No, 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 no. I was, I was just going to say that. Absolutely. You want to talk about mates? No, no. Let's talk about wages policy. Wages policy, or uh, sorry, uh, wages uh, calculation is one of the things that they got wrong ten times out of ten. Okay. Now, when they were saying, "Oh, we expect wages to go up four or five percent this year," every single union secretary in the country was saying. In what industry? My guys aren't getting 4 or 5%. Their guys aren't getting 4 or 5%. Every single union secretary in the country thought that was madness, except the boffins at the RBA. They were saying, no, 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 we've got this model labour market elasticity that's going to show that it's going to go up. Every single one was wrong. I think having a couple of those union secretaries sitting around the table saying, guys, none of us are experiencing the union land, none of us are experiencing the real world, might say, this is why you've got it wrong, team. Yeah, but that's, that, that, that is the result of what he's trying to do when it comes to the laws he's trying to get through the parliament, but it's not what he's saying at the press conferences. Matt, what do you think here? Again, it worked for them politically. It shouldn't have. It was a disgrace to attack um, the Reserve Bank governor in the fashion that they did. Anyone else would have been uh, you know, accused of trying to trash an institution, but when it's Labor, it's all good. What did you think about the game they're playing? Well, look, I certainly agree, I agree with Sam. I don't think the RBA should be somehow above criticism, but I don't think it's appropriate for the nation's treasurer to engage in this kind of criticism, especially when the RBA can't hit back and won't, of course, can't defend itself from one of the other parts of the team, the Treasury. And also, uh, if the Treasurer is going to engage in this kind of reflection, maybe he should engage in some self-reflection as well because he seems right. to be criticising the RBA in some kind of uh, inept way to wash his own hands or absolve himself from any blame. He is the nation's Treasurer and I've commented often that I think Jim Chalmers seems to think he's a weatherman, not the Treasurer. He's always commenting on the economy, <laughs> what its state is, this time commenting on... You know, playing an economic commentator role, what the RBA should or shouldn't be doing. You're the treasurer, mate. You can you can actually influence things. You can influence inflation. You can you could you could create pressure off the economy to help interest rates be lower. Because I'm not sure exactly what the RBA can do when our inflation rate is the highest in the developed world. So but obviously, if its interest rate decisions have been lower, like Jim seems to want to want them to have done, we may even have had higher inflation. That's that's a very likely outcome. What could be done if you want lower interest rates and lower inflation is to, to reduce government spending. Correct. And almost every economist out there, every credible economist reckons that the Labor Party's first two budgets have been massively stimulatory. That's what their own numbers say. They've injected $40 billion of net spending based on their own policy decisions into the economy mm. across two budgets. Out. And that has meant that interest rates are higher than, than they would otherwise be. All right, I love this. The big boys have come to play. They've got the brains. they got... We all... Well, I almost said it. They're ready to fire up and fight. That's the main thing, all right? 